All right. Good morning, everyone. Sorry, we're a minute behind here, but um, we're ready to go now. I'm here with Dr. Stephanie Taylor. Uh, today is April 17th, Friday, April 17th. So happy Friday. Um, and today we'll be going through uh, antigen versus antibody tests. So antigen tests is the test that's available right now for COVID-19, um, really checking if you uh, have currently have the virus. Um, and Dr. Taylor will talk about a more long-term test as well and a few specifics about each. So Stephanie, I'll pass it over to you and uh, we can go ahead and start. Awesome. Hi everyone. Uh, so, you know, we're about to embark on another weekend which will be followed by another Monday. And if you're like me, you're beginning to think when are we gonna be beyond where we are now and into our next phase of this uh, dealing with this virus? And what will it take to get us to that next phase? So really what we need uh, to re-enter the workforce and re-enter public buildings, besides implementing building uh, processes to protect us such as mid-range humidity. But in addition to that, we need to know who's sick um, now and who is really protected from the disease by previous illness. So the, the test that we're hearing about now primarily is the antigen test. So you may have heard about PCR tests or serology or nasal swabs or sputum swabs. So those are really testing the antigen. The antigen is really synonymous for the virus. So the antigen test tells you if, in fact, you have the virus uh, actively in your body. So even if you don't have any symptoms, if you're asymptomatic, you could be carrying the virus. And that's why the CDC is now recommending that everybody wear a face mask so that if you are carrying the virus, but you don't feel bad, you don't have any symptoms, and you go and you sneeze right into someone else's face, with a mask on, you won't give them your infected droplets. So the antigen test um, is really a, a fascinating technology microbiologically. So what it does is it takes your sputum and it identifies whether or not there's virus uh, or viral genetic material in your sputum, assuming that if you have the genetic material, you've got the virus that provided it. So the coronavirus uses RNA as its genetic code, as opposed to humans, we use DNA. And I'll let you Google the difference between DNA and RNA. But the antigen test that is available now to see if you're sick looks for RNA from the virus and to determine whether or not that RNA is from this specific coronavirus, there are enzymes that cut the RNA in half it's kind of like unzipping your coat. And then it takes the opposite zipper of a known that's known. And it, it sees if you can zip, zip that RNA back up again. So by using a known, like half of the zipper, you can identify the other half. It's, um, that's called PCR or polymerase chain reaction. So that's the zipper unzipper test. And it's very specific, um, it's very accurate it takes 24 to 48 hours to come back. There are faster antigen tests out there, which are used in the field at quote unquote point of care, and they can be less accurate. Um, so for example, Graham uh, brought up a really good question today, which is, are, is the antigen test specific to this coronavirus? And the PCR antigen test is. Um, there are other tests that are a bit are less specific and therefore less reliable. So that's the antigen test. So just think antigen really means active virus. Now coming down the pike and one another test that's really necessary is on the next slide. And this is the antibody test. So antigen is the virus, antibody is what our body forms to fight the virus. So antibodies hang around for a long time. We're not exactly sure how long, but it looks like the antibodies that people have made who've had this disease and gotten better, it looks like their antibodies are similar to those 
that people made in response to SARS-1 and they lasted about two years. So it looks like if you have had this illness, you're protected at least for about two years, maybe longer, maybe a little bit shorter. But the antibody tests will check your blood for the presence of the defending antibodies. And that test actually becomes positive or negative you know, in the testing kit fairly quickly. It's kind of like a pregnancy test, except you don't use urine, you use blood. So this test will be, when it is available and reliable, it'll be able to tell you uh, within minutes if, if the test is positive or negative. But prior to that, these antibodies do take a little while to form. So if you are newly infected, um, the antibodies may not be at a level high enough to detect. So this is a great test to see who's been sick, um, like, but not like immediately sick, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so, so that's kind of like you've been sick and you've recovered. So now it's almost like an immunity test for however long those antibodies last. Exactly. But it takes a little while for the antibodies to be um, high enough to detect. Right. But yeah. You, that's exactly right, Graham. Great. Um, all right. So those were the two quick topics we wanted to touch on today. Um, next week, we'll be uh, going through Monday, Wednesday, Friday, same format at 1030 as well. Um, be sure to follow Stephanie on LinkedIn, and uh, she'll be working hard with the uh, ASHRAE epidemic or pandemic task force. Um, and thanks for tuning in, everyone. Great. Have a good weekend.